So today we're going to talk about keeping our tools and our router motor clean. The reason for this is because the router motor is the lifeblood of the CNC and if it's dirty, it can cause issues with your tools as well as your tool changer. So the first thing you want to have to do when you bring your machine forward, if you have a tool in, go ahead and pop that guy out. We'll set this aside, and then we're gonna grab, uh, grab our cleaning spray here. Uh, whether it come with the machine or you order from us or you have your own, we'll use this to clean the inside of our router motor. So we'll go ahead and take our spray, we'll get a clean rag, and we'll spray up in the inside of your actual router motor here. So you give it a little bit, you don't wanna drown it in there, you just wanna give it nice and lubricated. And then we're gonna actually hit our tool release button and we're going to go in and clean the inside. You want to clean the face of the router as well to make sure that's nice and clean. You can check on the inside to make sure you don't have any debris or dust left over from the tools. And you should be good to go. You can also look around the outside of the housing. Make sure you don't have any collections of dirt or uh, dust sitting on top. Things that can weigh down the router motor, all that jazz. And now the next part is once you have that clean, you wanna take a look at your tool. So at the top of your cone that you have here, uh, go ahead and spray this down as well with your spray. We'll do a nice little wipe on the top side of our cone and on the inside as well. This is very important because this is where the gripper fingers on the router motor grab the tool. If this is dirty, this can give an inaccurate reading to the actual router and now you have issues with the machine not seeing your tool or not picking it up properly from your tool changer. So once we got that clean, we got our router motor clean, we can go ahead and take our tool, put it back in. We want to verify that we have no gap in between our router and our uh, tool here. You don't have to spin it. I know a lot of guys like spinning it. That's the old style machines. You do not have to spin the tool to check for uh, closure with the actual router motor. So once we're done with that, we'll come over here to the software and we will actually clear out our maintenance section. So we already have our maintenance section up here. So we have our password in, we're going to reset that. That'll take our scale back down to zero. And once that's complete, we're going to go back to our tool changer tab here and redefine the tool that we just put in. So every time you take a tool out, the machine zeroes out what's in the router. So once you put it back in, you have to tell the machine which tool's in there. So I know that that's ID number three, so I'm gonna put three in my box, right click, and I'm gonna define my tool. And now my router maintenance is complete. 